All right, today I'm gonna do orchestra and hypersonic with the MIDI outs. I already got FS Studio open this time. And these you have to pay attention because you gotta do not a lot, but you gotta do a little bit of stuff. So we're gonna do orchestra first because it was the easiest one. Well, it was the simplest one. And if you hear the mouse clicking or me typing on this keyboard, my bad. I probably got the mic in the wrong way. But we're going to do it anyway. Okay, um, I insert orchestra and a MIDI out. I'm going to delete this sampler. And this time we're going to add three MIDI outs because you can only do four in orchestra. I'm going to show you why you can only do four. Four instruments. So this one, this one, this one, this one going to be in the inserts down here when we get finished. And the reason that is because you go to the um you hit the gear and you go to this info tab, it says outputs four. Okay, so that means you can only do four outputs at a time. So if you do six instruments or eight instruments, you have to open it up orchestra twice and do the do the mid outs again. But first you gotta go to output and you gotta whatever instrument you're going to use you assign it to which one you want so for this video we're just going to do we're going to send the second vibrator to two the, the clarinet to three and the bassoon to four okay then you just as you see it's going like that and the rest of them continues go down so you hit close on that then you're going to go hit to the gear you're going to change the input port to zero or whatever name you want all right and so let's go to the media outs, change this to two, change this one to three, and change this one to four. All right. And now as you watch the orchestra, when I click on the different media outs, the different ones are gonna play. First, I gotta um, gotta turn my AGF all off because it's not gonna work. All right, so. If you hear it, you see it. It's moving right there. So we'll go to the first media out. This one is playing. Then third media out. That one is playing. And last but not least, the fourth one is playing through there. All right. So now you're gonna hit the gear again, and you're gonna go to the processing, and you're gonna hit auto map. Outputs. Alright. <clears throat> but if you're going to use four instruments, just take this and go to one. And so now, when you play it, when you make your beat, this flute right here is when you mix it down, it's going to be right here, insert one. And then MIDI app two is going to be insert two. And the set and the third media out that you want to use, don't be the third one. And the fourth one is going to play it too. So you won't be confused. Like you can rename them as the first. Um, I'm gonna put second, like number two, and we're gonna put this one as number three, and this one as number four. Reason why I named them like this for this video sake, I usually just put the name on the instrument, but they don't take too long, and YouTube only give you 15 minutes. And so this is the first instrument, second instrument, third one, and fourth instrument, and they all are sent to mm -hmm. an insert. You can rename them once you get them there, and add different effects to it. And shout out to the person who um, commented on my video, let me know that I wouldn't talk to myself. And shout out to the other subscriber that I got too. I really appreciate it. And so now that we did orchestra, I'm going to go through one more time and show you how to do it before I go and do hypersonic. First thing you do, you open up, you're going to go to output, and you're going to change those. Then you're going to close it out. Then you go back to the gear, to the settings tab, turn it to zero. And then you're going to assign the MIDI outs to whatever channel, which is um, instrument that you want which is orchestra lets you do 16 but they only let you do four outputs i don't know why but i haven't figured out how to add more 
and then you go to the process, you want to auto map them out. If you're going to auto map them out, it's easier that way. I figured it out when I was doing this. And to get them to, for the orchestra instrument, the first one to play here, just change the regular orchestra to number one. Okay. So, now we're going to do hypersonic. I'm just going to do another template. Okay. No, I'm going to save it. So we're gonna replace this with the hypersonic. Okay, it's take too long. All right, there you go. And with hypersonic, the first thing you gonna do before you add any sounds or whatever you do at hypersonic, you are going to go to set up. And as you see, in set up it only has four S's. And that's the stereo outputs. And it was just like orchestra. It only have four active outputs. But in hypersonic, you can change it. So what you got to do is, from 5 to 16, depending on how many instruments you're going to load up. I'm just going to go to 10. And I had a, um, I had it saved. But for this purpose, I'm just going to show you how to do it. And what you do is just click on the empty box and go to stereo output. All right. So I done that, and before you save it, cause you have to save it, you gonna go to um, mix, and you gonna change. See, all of them got one going through there. You gotta change them. Okay, two, three. Okay, and four. Just this for that. But right now we are gonna go back to the setup, and we gonna save. Okay, save it as default, right? You gonna exit out, and it's not gonna happen until you reopen orchestra. I mean, I'm hypersonic again by itself. So how you do that is just exit out of here. And you can either replace it, that's what I do. So you're going to replace that one with hypersonic. All that I did was right click and replace the original one. And so now we go to set up. It, has, it goes all the way up to 10. And then you go back to the processing. All of them. Then right here, it changed that 4 to a 10. And so now you're going to go back to the mixer channel. And you're going to just go down here and change. The reason why you got to change it because that what insert is going to send it to. So if you don't change this, it's not going to work. It, it took me like five minutes to figure that part out because this is my first day using hypersonic. I got it because of the comment. So now we're just going to load up some instruments. I'm gonna try to load up different sounds, so yeah. I'm not gonna make a beat. I'm just gonna show them that it's coming out the mini outs, and then y'all can do what y'all wanna do. And for this sake, since I added outputs, we're gonna do um, either six or five five mini bits. All right, I'm back. I had to go see my nephew. On. So we're going to continue to add these sounds in here. And we're going to do, I don't know what this is, but we made it in. So one. Okay, so I added five, so I'm at six. So uh, what is this? Let's do this. All right. So now we're going to go here, and then we're going to insert the um, media apps. And... I don't like this, so I'm just going to change mine up to the top. You can do it too if you want to. Just make sure this highlighted and hit out and the up arrow in the key, I mean on your keyboard. And I'm just going to clone these. I got to clone five of them. Clone five. The reason why I clone five, because I, I just do it. I let have my, my first instrument play through hypersonic, and so I just mix it like that. But if you don't, you can create another six. Okay. So now I'm going to go back up here, hit the gear, hypersonic, change this to zero, and then go to the first media out and just rename them, put them in the, the right channel. Okay. This is five. And this one is six. Alright, so, 
I gonna bring up Harry Sonic so you can see that it's gonna it's gonna highlight right here. It's gonna turn to a bright blue. So okay. Oh shit! All right. See as you play all of them going to insert one, but you finna change that right now. So you can go here, go to your processing tab, and hit auto map outputs. Alright. And then now as you watch this media hours is gonna play through insert two. And then you're gonna keep going down as you change them. Alright, and so For arrangement's sake and uh, keeping things in order, just we do all of them. Just uh, rename, rename to the instrument. So this is fat clay, whatever. All right. And so now you know what instrument is playing out of them instead of doing like that and then select them on the planner. And then so when you go to, and then so you just go here and this is that so. You know, F hit F two, and you gonna rename it as Fat Clay, so you know which is which for the instruments. So that has been my video with orchestra and hypersonic. Hope it helped you a lot. Remember the steps, cause with these two VSTs, if you miss one of the steps that I did, you either gonna be like, ah, oh, she didn't know what she was talking about, or you are gonna be like. I messed up so just um, remember what I did and go through it again I got three more minutes left so first we come here you're gonna go to the setup you're gonna put all the S's wherever you want them to go and then you're gonna hit save default when you hit the save default replace this one with hypersonic and then you come back and go to the mix and you go on the label minus 10 and in hypersonic, I know that all of them, all instrument has their own pre um, effects on them. So this would this mean those little when, when it's highlighted right there. Those are the different effects that it has, and I think it's because of these. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, four. So I think it's um, hyper's tone. Quiet tone attack and release is the four effects up here. And um, that's all. And so, hope that help you with your um, production. I'm not where I want to be at my production yet, but knowing all these shortcuts and programs and VSTs, when I make a beat, it cut my times in half. So, learn learn something about the programs that you're using before you start making beats. Cause you will disappoint yourself. <laughs> but anyway, I'm out, and it was set over 70 views on my last video, and I only got one comment. Please comment, and I got one dislike and one like. That was cool, but comment so I um I get y'all opinion on it, so y'all can help me improve. And if y'all have any information for me as a uh, producing from going from a beat maker to a producer. Don't hesitate to email me. I'm not a sensitive person, so just give me your opinion on what I can do to improve, and I'm out. Bye.